So hello guys, welcome to this channel. I'm Natasha, and today I'm letting you know about one person that is Dr. Akram. He has introduced one of the academy basically, and they are providing coaching for many of the courses related to pharmacists in different different countries. As you people have many doubts related to caps, like how to become pharmacist in Australia, what are the procedures and everything. So I think he is the best person who can guide us. So without wasting any time, let's get started. And I'm going to ask some basic questions to him, and you can comment in the comment section box. And I'll try to make another video with him so that we can we can make the another video of your questions, and we can make more and more videos about anything related to Australia or any examinations for any country. So hi, Dr. Akram, how are you? Hi, hi, Raja, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, so it's nice to see you over here. So actually, I have many questions. So I just want to ask some questions to you regarding CAPS examination. Yes, sure, sure, sure. Anything so, about Australia? Yes. Yeah, as he is already in Australia, he has done his diploma in India, B Pharmacy from India, and Pharm D from India, and it's not done yet. He has done his PhD in Australia, and now he is working as scientist. And simultaneously, he is providing coaching to many of the countries related to pharmacy examinations. So basically, sir, today I want to know about the caps. So can you just brief me about caps? What exactly caps is? So caps, you know, uh, when you are uh, want to migrate to Australia as a pharmacist. So the first step is called initial skill assessment. Means they will check your document. You are eligible to sit in the exam. It will take eight weeks, and after that, you are eligible to sit in the exam. So this is basically okay. nothing but that they will just check your knowledge in pharmaceutical okay. sciences. This gas caps okay. K P S yeah, knowledge assessment in pharmaceutical sciences basically is a full name. So this is basically a MCQ based exam. And they will ask you a, a hundred questions. There is basically okay. exam one, paper one, paper two. The same okay, day, okay. yeah. Okay. So hundred questions they will ask, and in that fifty percent is correct, then you are the pass the exam. And, okay. So basically, you can say there is two exams in one day. Two yes. papers are there, paper one and paper two, but they are gonna be taken on the same day. Plus the passing marks is not sixty percent. Like for PBC, it's sixty percent. So that's good actually. That caps have only fifty percent passing marks. So yes. that's good. And there is no negative marking also. That's wonderful. That's wonderful that there is no negative marking. So we can put every answer. Like for example, if you don't know any question answer, we can just make a guess as well because there is no negative marking. Okay. 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 So the basic question that I want to ask about caps. What is the fees for any, for example, fees for an Indian student if they want to go for their document evaluations? Obviously, we have to send some documents to them. What is the fees for this? Basically, the first step called initial skill assessment. So the fee okay. is one three one zero AUD, and okay. uh, then the exam fee they need to pay the what two one nine zero AUD. The total. Three thousand five hundred AUD in Indian rupees. We converted is like uh, uh, around uh, two lakh, uh, less, okay. less than uh, less than two lakh. Okay, so that's that's not that big deal. When we are getting that much salary, then two lakhs is not a big deal. Yes. So basically, for document evaluation, there is different fees. That is around thirteen hundred, and for the examination, it's somewhat around two thousand or something. Yes. So this is basically the fees for the first step. And I think you are no, providing all is... the things related to this, right? You are providing every information. Yeah, uh, basically this fee, basically first step is class assessment, including the exam. So this is okay. the all together. They need to pay for Australian Pharmacy Council directly. Okay, people. that's the pay they have to pay. Not okay, not separately. They have to pay one time this amount. No, 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 separately. First is class assessment, and after two okay. or three months uh, for exam. Okay, okay. So it will take. Two to three months to get the documents evaluation, and after yeah. this we have to pay another fees for the examination. Okay, okay, I got your point. Yeah. So basically, the thing which I came to know that there is skill assessment that is going to take two months, and it's going to be around thirteen hundred something. And yes. once we are getting our documents from them, that yes, we are eligible. 
then yes. we can appear in the examinations okay so what is the basic degree which is required for cats examination and yeah i am basically basic degree in australia required four year bachelor degree in pharmacy okay and there is no experience required but you must register pharmacist in your home country okay okay. okay so mandatory is only four year degree so it's not a big deal if somebody hasn't done farm b because many people ask me questions like if i am not doing farm b can i do my pharmacy examinations for australia so the answer is yes if you have done your bachelor that's enough for the uh, caps examination but second thing doesn't matter you have experience or not but you should be registered in your particular area for example if you are done with e pharmacy and you are eligible to apply for the haryana council haryana pharmacy council you must be registered that is the main okay yeah, yeah. and they have any centers in other countries or it's only australia uh, basically this exam if they also want to migrate to new zealand so this is exam the same exam uh, okay caps for australia or new zealand if whether they want to migrate to australia or new zealand they have to write the same exam okay so even if people are going to new zealand so they can go for the caps as well right it's the same yes. exam for new zealand or australia but is the assessment the separately if they want to go to new zealand then they oh, have okay. to go for but new zealand requirement little bit different they need at least one year experience i know Uh, oh, okay, as, a, okay. as a pharmacist in retail pharmacy or in a hospital pharmacy, but for Australia, no need any experience. Okay, so we will make separate video for New Zealand as well because in in New Zealand or Australia there is some differences. So basically, in summarize, what I can say there is first a skill assessment test. For this, you have to pay some amount, and it will take two to three months. And once it is done, there is first a paper that is CAPS examination and. Uh, examination fees is around 2000 dollar there is no experience required there is four year degrees required right yes. there is no need for farm b means if somebody is doing farm b it's great but yes. it's not mandatory okay okay that's a good thing in australia because so, in us so, uh, but, but what we advise if you want to migrate to australia so you because you know skill assessment we will apply for you so you just you know so same day onwards you just join our academy uh, because we provide 3 month live coaching from australia to pass okay. the exam and um, you know this 3 month they are coaching and 2 uh, month it will take for skill assessment you know so once skill assessment they, they, they receive now you are uh, you can sit in the exam so at the time the student <laughs> are ready to sit in the exam and he can pass uh, uh, Okay. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So basically, if somebody wants to go for their skill assessment, so I will say that please reach to these people. So I will share a link in the description, so you can ask them your questions, how they are providing coaching, what are the timings and everything. So by the time you are getting your skill assessment done, you have those two three months, and on those three two three months, you can take preparation. You can take coaching from them, and you can do your preparations, and you can appear in the examinations, and uh, you will pass it. So that's yes, the thing. Definitely, because this is very very easy exam. Just fifty percent passing, and very very important. You know, in India we have five centers, so you have to okay. go one of the centers. Yeah. Okay, and that's new, great. Yes, New Delhi, Mumbai, and Chennai, Hyderabad, and Bangalore. These are the five centers in India, so any centers you can choose and uh, for the examination. Okay, okay, that's that's good because in Canada even they are making centers for India now, but because of time gap, sometimes it's not uh, feasible to go to the centers and we have to appear in our home as well. But that's good if Australia is providing centers in India and uh, Delhi, Mumbai. These are some of the areas where anybody anybody can go and then appear in the examination. Yes. Okay. So, uh, at what time? For example, what is the time when they are getting results? For example, if exam is done on first of the August, is it the result is coming in three weeks, four weeks, or it's yeah. something like that? It will take like four to eight weeks. Uh, okay, will, okay. Uh, yeah, around four, uh, four or five weeks. Yeah, it will take. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's the that. These are some of the questions I want to ask you. I'll try to make separate videos about the. visa because people have the information about caps but they want to apply for visa as well so i'm trying to make another video for for this as well but i have one last question from you can yeah, you just sure. brief about your academy how you are providing coaching what are the timings and uh, how people for example some people have done their 
bachelors four, five, six years back. So are they okay with your academy or you are providing coaching to the newly graduate graduates only? Actually, you know, we are providing, especially most of the, our students, basically they are uh, professionals. They are working, okay. they do not have time. They, they pass pharmacy with 10 years back, 8 years back, you know. So, uh, basically, so, so, so we are not here to teach you pharmacy. You are already a pharmacist. Yes, so yes, then, that's a good yes. thing. So, we will just, you know, uh, we know basically in last 10 years, so what are the uh, questions they are asking, for example, CVS. So, since CVS, they mostly ask like uh, 15 to 35 questions to oh. all the exams, you know. So, we just focusing the topic wise. So, if you uh, just focus on our lectures, you definitely can pass at once. There is no need to go and to buy any other book or look at here and there. Just the lectures is more than enough. In three months, um, this, you know, at least you have to be study, you know, with us as well. Like at least lecture, we are given two hours. Uh, and you also need to be study uh, at least two obviously, hours obviously. from your side to so definitely you can pass. So, okay, so means if somebody is doing their job, they can also attend those two hours lecture. Means they, they don't no, have our, to wait 80, 80, 80, 80, 80% of students are, they are doing job, basically they are working in Middle East, in India, you know, and now they want to migrate to Australia, you know. So, they do not have that much time. So, we take every week 10 to 12 hour lectures. Rest of the the student has to uh, study uh, themselves at uh, ten to twelve hours. The same, same, okay, okay. Uh, same thing. So, so that, that is good actually because sometimes uh, the coachings are providing like for two days in a week and it's like eight eight hours long duration and people have to take off from those uh, jobs or something. But it's quite good. I find it quite interesting that we don't have to go for any vacations or we have to, we don't have to book any days off we can do it by doing the job as well right and and in our you know we our basically we will provide a live lecture so you can okay. interact with the lecturer so you can ask whatever you have the question and importantly is sometimes if you miss any lectures we provide the uh, uh, recorded lecture so you can you know sometime if, if, if your timing is not match you know so you can have it okay, okay. And, uh, later on also you can see so basically in this particular coaching center you will get what I can understand from your answers that you will provide live lectures but live lectures are going to be recorded as well. So you yes. can see those lectures anytime according to your comfort zone, right? Yes, and we you... will, additionally we will also provide the material book also. Okay, so, yes. so, okay, so we have the lectures, online lecture, we can see those lectures later on how many like number of times like it's not like one time or two times we can see how much time we want right okay and, and our coaching is until, yes, our coaching is until you pass you have to pay just one oh. this is not like for example if you fail in the exam one or two next time you will you have to come to us then you have to pay no 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 need to pay you just need to pay once and you will be until you pass me, we will provide you all the assistance to pass this. Okay, campus. that that that's quite interesting. So, for example, if somebody applying for June and by any way they cannot go for June, they can extend their course without any money with zero payment, right? Yes. That, that's a good thing that because sometimes we are planning for June or July and because of any reasons we cannot make it. So we can go to next exam, but we don't have to pay you the money again, right? Yeah, you know, if they have some problem for particular, for example, pharmaceutical calculation or medicinal chemistry. So if they want to join in the next batch, we will give them the access. Okay, okay, are, okay. these are the dates and uh, in pharma chemistry, you can re-attend uh, this lecture. Okay, okay. That, that's good actually, because sometimes people feel bad that they have to pay again and again. Yeah. So that is the best thing which I can say is good because people have to pay just once and everybody is trying that they can pass in first attempt but in case if somebody is not going to pass so they can continue the coaching without any single money right. Yeah. So that's the main thing which people can you know feel quite good for this. And uh, there is one more question for you like if for example if person is doing in any country, doesn't matter in any country, they can attend your lectures, right? You are yes. making the schedule and you are giving the schedule before the starting of classes, right? So they have to plan, they can do Basically, it, right? Our, our time is fixed. Australian time, 7 o'clock we start. So in India, okay. we can say it's, it's, it's 2.30. 
but if you are in any other country so you can uh, see the timing uh, uh, okay prepared. so means time table is already prepared so people can adjust their timing their thing accordingly so that's a good yes. thing because but you if, know for example Mm-hmm. Students are from different different countries. You you cannot imagine like South Africa. We have a student. We have students from Brazil. We have a student from Finland. We have some students from Middle East. You know, so the timing some students are not match. So they they just see the videos and yes yes they uh, just see the videos. That's uh, that's videos that's... and they also see, uh, see the the materials. And if they have problem, they can discuss on the weekend like Sunday or something. So okay, Sunday you are making one day or two days for the. kind of discussion sessions right yes sunday we also provide one additional session and we also provide lecturer one to one sometime you know if you have some questions in any particular topic mm-hmm. so he will give you the one to one session as well that that's good so i think that's more than enough for me for today so if somebody uh, so that's all what i want to say you all guys so if somebody wants to know anything about caps examination i will share the link and if somebody is going to take the coaching from them so i think i should make a promo code as well and yes. i will put the promo code in the description if you will apply that promo code you will get additional 10% discount on your uh, fees as well so thank you very much sir i will try to make one another video about the visa actually so because we don't want to just clear the exam and sit in your country i want to know how to apply for visas and how they can come to australia and they can meet you as well Yeah, sure. So, sure, thank sure. for this. I, I'll try to make another video as well. Have a good yeah. day, sir. Thank you.